We are back in the kitchen today here with Karen Sullivan from Pretty Wellness who has some ideas for how to have a healthy pantry. Hi, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Alyssa. You know I love being here. Absolutely. So we're talking about some simple switches that we can all make. Right. So you know I love talking about taking small steps. So when you are looking to improve your pantry a little bit, I would love to say start with small substitutions. So first, if you love to bake, look at some flour. Instead of your white flours, go with almond flour or whole wheat flour. Now, if you're somebody that likes to eat lots of pasta and those carbs, you can still eat carbs, but to make your, your pantry a bit healthier, I would say go with chickpea pasta mm. or even look at ancient grains. I love farro, quinoa, brown rice. I'll substitute that instead of pasta, and you can have a really delicious and filling meal from your pantry. Absolutely, and you always talk about beans, not only their benefits, their health benefits, but they are a pantry staple as well. They are, and there's so much you can do with beans. Even if you've got a salad, you can throw the salad and toss it with beans. You can make a bean salad. There's so many different beans with different nutrients that fill you up throw it inside your soups. I even have a recipe for faux cookie dough made oh. with chickpeas. Okay, now we're talking. Yes, I like I that. figured you'd like that one. <laughs> Absolutely, you also have spices with you today. Right, what so growing I would say our own spices. Spices are so easy to add to anything. Again, we were talking the bean salads, but you can add them to salads, you can add them to your sauteing, your cooking. There's so many healthy properties when it comes to spices. Adding just a little bit of turmeric mm -hmm. and pepper is amazing for anti-inflammation properties. Cinnamon is also something that so many of us love this time of year, and it's so healthy. Absolutely, and I notice, and we've talked about this in the past, Karen, how when you can, with things that you can, you put them in those glass jars instead yes. of the plastic uh, containers. Why is that? Because plastic, so many of us don't necessarily realize that there's some BPA properties in it, and that's a toxin, and when you microwave it or leave it in the car and it gets too warm, those properties end up getting into your water or to your cooking and those can be toxic. So if you can use glass, and by the way, these ball jars are so cheap, it's really healthier. And by the way, I think it looks kind of cute too. It does, and, and it just looks neat. Yes. I mean, that's a goal of everyone, I think. Everyone is have a neat pantry where you could just go in and right. find what you need. You're not right. searching all over the place for yes. it. Oh, we love when you come in. Where can people go for more information? You can go to prettywellness.com. In my freebie section, I have a checklist about having a healthy pantry and always at Pretty Wellness on Instagram. And there it is right there on the screen. We appreciate your time and all the tips this morning. Thank you.